All right, we're recording. Welcome to Heaven on Earth. This is Sweetness. He's sitting here right on the ground. Phoenix is coming up behind us. Hopefully she will be polite as we kind of sit here and enjoy. You can stay. Let him stay, sweetie. Let him stay. Oh, interesting. I had a feeling that could happen. Ah, so Sweetness just got up because he wasn't entirely sure he could stay down with <laughs> Phoenix there. So I'm going to go back to my chair, although Sweetness is blasting us with some heart energy right now. So see if you can feel that. Take a deep breath. Good boy. So the topic for today is on rest and self-care and sweetness as soon as he heard that uh, he went and just sat down and so he's demonstrating that it's a simple quick immediate choice to take rest um, we're going to talk about what rest really means it's not just sleep so and the intention of the meditation is going to be about um getting into a deeper place of rest. So we start to feel ideally like this meditation is like a full night's sleep. And that's one of my intentions for this meditation is that it will actually start to feel like a full night's sleep for you. So if any of you feel sleep deprived, this should help. And um, it also, I feel like the animals are in this space of rest and relaxation today and kind of a level of exhaustion because they all lived through the fireworks last night and it's also a full moon so it's the time of really letting go and we're also in an eclipse um this full moon's in capricorn so uh i'm gonna go back to my seat although it feels really good to sit in the dirt and on the ground but we have some movement of the horses here behind me I've got Salita coming up. Salita is our self-care goddess. She's always talking about that. Hi, girl. Hi. Girl. And she's wanting to give you guys that kind of goddess self-care energy right off the bat. Sweetness is wanting to be involved. And Phoenix is too. She actually brought Salita over. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to get my body into a place where it feels a little more comfortable than sitting in the sun and Salita will be with us. I felt her come in this morning when I was thinking about this topic. Hi, sweetheart. <sighs> yeah, so already what I'm feeling from the critters is the letting go of burdens so that our systems can relax more. Yeah, releasing it. Like, ah, so let's take a deep breath. Ah. Right. <sighs> so it is bringing you all of her self-love, her self-care. Uh-oh. There we go. Hey, looks like I might have dropped out. Now we're back. I hope you guys didn't miss too much. So Salida is, um, right now she's taking this big step forward. And so the, it's interesting, there's already this level of like, what's coming in is taking a step forward into kind of more active rest. You can see her doing the tail. She's clearing a lot of energy on around me and also on behalf of this group. We are gonna do some clearing today. It feels like perfect time with full moon. Thank you, Salida. So she kind of moved off. So I feel like we can kind of drop into meditation now. I just wanted you guys to be able to see and feel the horses first. And we'll see who joins us as we drop into meditation. So thank you for being here and happy full moon. 
Um, so just sort of get into a comfortable place. And since this topic is about rest, it's really okay if you fall asleep during this. Um, like, just allow yourself to experience what you need to. So she's back to. <sighs> So start to feel your feet first. She's asking us to get a little grounded. So wiggle your toes inside of your shoes. Drop down into your feet. Thank you, Salida. And so start to feel like she's putting an energetic bubble around you right now. Taking away distractions other noises, other energies. Just gonna feel like she's in your home with you, circling you. <sighs> Maybe picture her starting to take some energy off your back. Both her and Sweetness are committed to clearing um, burdens. So feel like some of the burdens are just dropping off of your spinal cord down through your sit bones, down into some tree branches into the earth and composting. Or maybe see them lifted off, sent up to the heavens and just completely dissolved. So we're really grateful for Salita being with us because this is her teaching is self-care. Her teaching is authentic self-expression, deep self-love, putting ourselves first. And yet still being a mother, Slita was a brood mare. She babies, she ran on the racetrack. So she knows what action is, she knows what responsibility is. And she also knows how to deeply zen out. Deep rest. So just take a moment and see if you can relax any parts that feel tense by just tuning into that part and telling it, relax. And so see if you can feel into what it might feel like to have a 1200 pound loving mare standing behind you, blasting the backside of your heart with her heart. Fully relaxing your heart, softening it. Feeling into trust. As you can see, she just put her head over my crown. And she's now using her tail to cut my head. Wow, I haven't seen her do this work in a long time.
So I want you guys to get out of your heads by just saying, I'm in my heart. Oh. Nice. So once you land in your heart, just start to feel that energy, maybe allowing it to expand and grow wider. So there's a level of protection and, and grounding that Salida offered. So if you want to lightly touch the top of your head, picture a big horse head on top of your head is what she just did to me. Just pressing down lightly. And you anchored in that crown. Oh. And allowing the energy to filter down into the other parts of your body besides just the thoughts. Maybe state, I'm willing to be in my heart. Ugh. Trusting that the heart is the portal to heaven on earth. Softening that area. Being with any emotion or feelings or sensations in the heart. Oh, good work. So any and all thoughts that are no longer serving us, ego thoughts, fear thoughts, judgments, divisiveness, we like to create destroy it. Oh. Nice. Good work, everyone. And Salita farts out, and releases all of that with us. She's really sweeping energy with her tail. See if you can picture a horse's tail in your space. Like a car wash would wash a car. See if you can get that tail to wash away any energy that's yours or not yours. It's no longer serving you. Ugh, easy. Yawning's a release. Burping. Coughing. It's all okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Trusting that the horses have your back. Trusting you can shift out of ego in any moment you'd like. Oh. Ending the heart's intelligence and the portal to heaven on earth. So as the body is more prepared, let's take a moment, silently state our intention, 
to enter deep rest. My intention is to enter deep rest. So like Yoga Nidra, you're active, but you're not, you hold space to let go fully. Drifting into the silence and the stillness. So because the horses are bringing it in, let's just take a moment to acknowledge any beings alive or past in our daily life or in part of our life that are, as well as parts of our personality that push us to do more, to move, to not stop any old energy of slave driving that's in any of our consciousness, any old energy of attention deficit, any feeling like we can't rest, we haven't been allowed to rest, we don't deserve to rest, any of that energy. We like to uncreate and destroy it. Any and all commitments where we feel like we've put others before ourselves or our work or our roles. Any ways that we put motherhood before selfhood. Any ways that we're we were committed. <sighs> I like to okay to show that. So placing your hands on your heart, breathing in here, picturing your heart having a mouth, breathing in and out. Nice guys, nice work. So that clearing is very complete. 
trusting that we are birthing new ways of being through this work. We're stepping into the greater expression of the feminine, of being able to relax and still receive money, opportunities, love, recognition. Knowing that as we meet our own needs, as we glow, that we give permission and exampleship to others. <sighs> Allowing ourselves to feel into the energy of what it might take to go slower in our daily lives. What does that energy feel like to you? Feeling into connection with your intuition, your higher self, your inner goddess. Your best friend that lives inside of your heart. Passionate wise one. Acting, asking her voice to become clearer, louder, more present. Placing hand on heart again. I activate my intuition now. I activate my inner compass now. I activate my inner goddess now. So it is. Taking a moment and seeing if deep rest is even deeper and more available. Allowing yourself to synchronize your breath and your heartbeat with Mother Earth, Father Sky. And with the horses. So an acronym for rest just came in and it's return to enoughness of self 
and togetherness. Return, enoughness, self, togetherness. And self, togetherness is both the energy of you having your body, mind, heart connected and together, as well as the togetherness of unity of the planet and the beings on the planet together as one organism. Knowing that every being is already enough just because it exists, that you've done enough for the day by just waking up. To know that just breathing some days is enough. There are days to be fully active and there are days to be more quiet. Acknowledging that flow is part of heaven on earth. It's part of the feminine. It's part of higher dimensional energies. The trusting of the flow, the allowing of the flow. The sun rises and sets for the moon to rise. The active and the nothing. The rest and the movement. And knowing that at some point we let the rest go up to God, to the universe, to spirit to handle. We can just do our own part. The rest is left to God. So taking one more moment and just silence and stillness to come into deeper rest. message is coming in is please believe you're just as powerful in the nothing as you are in the everything in the non-active as you are in the active in the being as you are in the doing
So taking a deep breath. And coming back. Feeling your body. Me touching your legs, moving your fingers. Slowly, very intentionally, very consciously. Whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Nurses are all coming in now. Knowing that we have our eyes open. This is midnight behind me. Calling in the healthy masculine. As soon as we put ourselves first, we relax. So Midnight is sharing that, and this has been my experience as well, as soon as we put ourselves first, the men in our life or the man that we want to be in our life uh, often acknowledge that. They come to stand with us, they come to stand behind us, they come to stand to support us. Because we have stepped into putting ourselves first through rest. It may look like a nap, maybe it looks like meditation, maybe it looks like a full night's sleep. Thank you, Midnight. So to my left on the feminine side, all of the horses are right behind this area. So they're just infusing us with horse energy and rest. They've all been very quiet. They're standing in shade. He loves shade. He would prefer to be in shade. He is somewhat behind me, but he's also in some sun just so that he could be on camera with us. I wanted you guys to see, or he wanted you guys to see, that really that, that partnership with the masculine, whether it's within ourselves or whether it's men in the world, comes from putting ourselves into rest and quiet first. Let's take some breaths with the night. Venus is coming in. I was just thinking about him. Now he's coming in. So they're all circling right now. Kind of giving you guys the full experience of feeling in a horse bubble. Protection. Midnight's reminding me that to share that horses rest better than any beings. <laughs> Maybe cats. Maybe cats do too. But what he's sharing, like Midnight's resting right now, even though he's awake and he's aware of the flies and he is, you know, moving. He's still holding energy of rest, which you know, it's that return to enoughness of self and togetherness. The horses connect by sharing space and territory with each other. Just, hey, sweetheart. Boy. You just moved out of the way to make room for Salida. <laughs> On cue, girl. Good job. <laughs> girl. So really, this partnership's available from that place. Better friendships are available from this place. 
What are parent-child relationships and family relationships? There's so much I want to share and there's also so much I don't want to do right now because I'm enjoying the horses behind me and their energy. I'm hoping you guys can feel it as well. Midnight saying that sometimes doing nothing is the most powerful stand you can make or take. Most powerful stand you can take. So you guys, these guys want to be on camera. <laughs> That's why they're here. They could be anywhere else in here. So this is pretty neat. Oh yeah, I was thinking about showing that, thank you. So this is a water bottle. It's called a Mobot. My friend designed this, my client. Please check them out, they're awesome. What's fascinating about this is this is a roller for your legs. So you can put your leg on it, travel with it, and get some leg stretches, muscle stretches, and it's also a water bottle. And so it does two things in one. And what I was getting around the meditation, and the night's reminding me is that rest does multiple things for us. It is regulating the nervous system, the digestion, your heart rate. It's restoring your mental facilities. And it is literally the most important thing that you can do. And I work with a lot of women that talk about self-care and they don't give themselves credit for sleep or they don't put that one as one of the most important. And so the first thing is let's give ourselves credit for, for sleep and let's see how we need to enhance better sleep. What does that look like? Does it look like screens off earlier? No screens in a bedroom. Does it look like a nap midday? Yes, what did you want to say? So what Midnight's kind of suggesting is we give ourselves, we let ourselves off the hook from emotional frustration, judgment, or baggage as another form of rest. As soon as I shared that, he's like, good, you shared that I needed to. So letting ourselves off the hook is that energy, Phoenix is here to ground us, of being willing to give it a rest, like give the, the judgments and that mental chatter a rest by just literally saying, I see you. Horses are demonstrating it. I see you. And <laughs> oh, it's a movement. And I'm going to love you, thoughts, but I'm also not going to keep staying in that place of thinking too much about them, pushing myself around being angry at myself and others. So that's the energy that's being offered right now to clear some anger energy. <sighs> so let's do that. Any and all ways we've been holding anger towards ourselves or others, we'd like to uncreate and destroy it. Thank you, sweetness. Oh, so sweetness just cleared off some energy. Rain, the lead mare, let, let go of some of her anger energy. She's now grazing. She had her ears pinned and was moving the horses around. 
Midnight's over here. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. He's dropped and relaxed. Ah, oh, yes, love. What would you like to share with the humans? So what he's saying right now is that we have to love all of ourselves now. Like we can't wait anymore. Like we can't wait until something has happened where we deem ourselves ready. And that even the stuff we don't like is is needing to be accepted. Um, <laughs> so he's just gonna down on the ground. With him on the ground, let's see. Because not that we a uh, lot that we put up with stuff that we don't like, meaning we we just tolerate it, but we still have our voice. But with that, we accept. <laughs> We accept certain things for what they are, and that by the energy of accepting them is when we start to relax and rest, and make it all okay. <laughs> for letting me sit with you. Thanks for letting us sit with you. So we started and ending in a similar spot here. <laughs> So the energy of being sweet to ourselves and others is a form of giving it a rest, giving the judgments a rest, giving the thoughts a rest. So rest is a form of boundaries. Rest is a form of self-care. And the boundary is just, I've had enough with my eyes open and my thoughts going and I need to go into the energy of the void. And the, the void is something I experienced in my master's program in practicum, which is the very end of the experience. And it is this kind of deep, restful, like surrendered space where for me, I personally experienced an ego death, which felt like something left my body. And for a couple of weeks, I was in bliss. It was kind of hard to drive a car. And um, it was as though nothing could bother me. It's a really amazing way to live. Um, I wish it for everyone <laughs> with the energy of being able to also be in 3D and stay grounded. So the horses live in this place of being able to stay here on earth, stay grounded, keep themselves safe, eat, you know, work, all of that. But they rest to restore, they rest to release. Right, sweetness? One of sweetness's ways of releasing energy that he does when he, when he may take on or have stuff from a client. This is what he does. Oh, thank you for demonstrating. Oh, good boy. How cool, guys. How often have you gotten to sit right next to a donkey when he's passing out? So this also takes a lot of trust. This is not something Sweetness did with me for the first year or so. This has only been recently. He's also come up behind me, sat right behind my back and leaned into my back. And that's been really neat. So, I'm just gonna check in here what time we're at. Why don't you guys take that in and see energetically what that might bring up for you? So part of what's coming in is this like, okay, well, I know this is a great concept, I understand it, but what do I do when I have long hours at work? Went into the headspace. You okay? Oh, I know. Sweetness is like, it's not about the headspace, it's about pleasure. So we're either pushed by pain or pulled by pleasure in life. 
and most of us sleep out of exhaustion, overwhelm, feeling like we have to, maybe some levels of pain. But what if we were to sleep because we were pulled by pleasure? Pleasure of the bed, pleasure of the fact that it's just enjoyable to do nothing because it puts us in this more of the spiritual energy of being. And so relaxation of the nervous system, especially during times of trauma and change and chaos, turmoil, unrest, all that, which is about it, we are in that. It's just a choice. But we can't wait for something outside of us to start to regulate our nervous systems or like the one massage a month if we get that or, you know, vacation, Christmas vacation, which is six months away, right? Like Christmas in July is now, right? What daily experience can we have of this rest? And sweetness, by the way, this week for clients on Zoom has been demonstrating this energy. And the other, I have a photo, a beautiful photo of him laying almost like he's between horse's legs. So he's in this danger spot. He's in this spot where he could at any time get kicked or walked on by another horse. And yet he has so much trust and so much willingness to just be with the ground, to connect to the earth and to let go that, and know that if he has to get up, he'll get up, right? Like, but he's still willing to lay down and let go in the middle of things um, around him that could be dangerous. Doesn't mean they are. So, you know, there was a part of me that didn't want to go to sleep last night until I knew the fireworks were over, so I knew the horses were okay. But that's me trying to control it and saying, well, I don't trust, right? But what if I could fall asleep? You know, babies do this. They fall asleep in, the, in a car with a lot of activity going on, right? <laughs> because there's almost this remembering of what real safety is and what real the benefits of real relaxation are. So I feel like he's just, he wanted to give you guys this right from the beginning because we were sitting with him to start. But we have it now. And what's awesome because of the clearings that we've done is the horses are right here to my left, about mm, five feet away. And they're moving around now. But I'm gonna energetically create some space with my hand and I'm kind of blocking the space so that they don't come in, there's a boundary. And now what's great is that there's not this movement in chaos. The, the lead mare, the one that could push everyone around, she's off on her own eating and grazing. She's relaxed and doing her thing. So these other horses are over here, curious about what's going on, but they're not coming into my space. Hold on love. As I say that, there's still some of that here because they wanted to say hello. But I'm going to ask to create more space in the boundary. Now I'm going to actually move myself from the situation. <laughs> We're getting followed by myself here. Oh, hey, enough. All right, so because that is still in the field, I thought we had cleared it. Let's do it. Let's clear it one more time. One more layer, because that means that that's someone's um, that's here that hasn't, we've done a layer, but we have another layer to do. So the horses are all coming over to support this now. We have an opportunity to go one layer deeper. So whatever that looked like to you guys, think about what that is. What it looked like to me is either a self, or an outside violation of peace. Phoenix is confirming that. Okay, so there's no reason to get too upset about it. She's trying to clear some of that energy through her mouth right now. So the horses are all here in a circle. So if this feels resonant for you, if this feels like this is you, just take a deep breath. 
<sighs> you have our support. Any and all self imposed or outside imposed. Sweetness is here to help us. Um, anger, encroachment of energy, violation of boundaries. We'd like to uncreate and destroy it. <sighs> awesome. It was the violation of boundaries. So here's the thing. This talk came in as rest. Then the next word I heard was self-care and the third word I heard was boundaries. I was not gonna pick three topics, so I stayed with rest. But all three are now coming in to be discussed. And this last piece on boundaries is this. If you start to violate your own boundaries, push through things that you, like if you need to go to sleep at a certain time and you're pushing through it consistently, others will start to violate your boundaries because you're showing the world, my reality is a violation of boundaries. So Sweetness and I held quite a bit of peace energy and space there. And I was okay with the horses. They were actually respecting the boundary. And then all of a sudden, as we started to talk about what that was, they actually demonstrated the opposite so that we could see it. Salida does not pin her head, her ears and move Sweetness, really ever. I mean, that was a little surprising to me what we just saw. So that's why I was like, hey, this is still somewhere in this energy field, whether it's one of you watching now or later and or in my own energy field um, on some level, although I'm not consciously aware of it. So let's make sure it's gone. Because I feel like it now is because there's so much space around me, but let's make sure it's gone. <sighs> Good job, good work. That was the last layer, the last piece of that. And I'm gonna say the words that came in really strongly for you, for all of us is take a stand. If we don't do it now, it may get more challenging. So it's time to take a stand for, and that's like what I did. I took a stand and I got up and moved out of there. The night's back to support that. Thank you, sweetie. The healthy masculine is I've got my own back and it allows men to have our backs as well. And it's, I'm taking a stand. I'm taking a stand for the space I need, the sleep I need, the rest I need, the relaxation, putting myself first, the boundaries I need, the voice I need, like that that is return to enough of self and togetherness, right? That's rest. So I hope you guys loved this. I'm going to stop the recording. And if any of you feel the need to share, you're welcome to. Good night's very happy with the sharing. It's looking and cheering now. I'm so glad we ended on a good note. That was great. Fascinating to see the shifts. Thank you for joining.